Welcome Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, we are going to be looking at what is going on for the next two weeks for you, okay, and what it is that you need help with over this time. We are using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards, the Muse Tarot, and Shadow Healing. Okay, so Cancer, let's get into it, shall we? Give these a quick shuffle, see what jumps out first off. Cancer. One more. Listen to your intuition. Anything else? Okay, sweet. Okay, Cancer. We've got two cards pop out and then we'll choose the rest from the deck. Okay, so first up we have... Listen to your intuition, Cancer. I actually wonder if for some of you, I feel like actually you're a lot more connected than what you believe you are. Um, it, it's sort of like some of you can't actually see the connection Potentially because you don't believe necessarily that you have the ability to have, like, you know, have that connection. Um, yeah, and it's necessary for you to listen to your intuition so that the connection can be made, okay? Um, and I feel like there's something that is happening in your life or some sort of path that you're on that you were destined for. It's sort of like you were born for this type of thing, okay? And um, some of you could very well be too much in your head, okay? Which may be causing particular emotions, which is throwing you off from hearing your intuition, okay? So I think it's very important for you to maybe take a couple of steps back to go, okay, um, I have this emotion because I had this thought. So working that out so that you can clear all that so that your intuition has the, um, it's sort of like what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is it's like you need to, at the moment, it's like your thoughts and your emotions are holding the mic. And what needs to happen is you need to get your thoughts and your emotions to hand the mic over to your intuition. Because your intuition has not been heard, okay? Or it's screaming at you and you are hearing it, but you're not paying attention to it, okay? Um, because in your mind, it seems a lot more... Um, it makes more sense to go in this direction or do this or, you know, it's almost like what your intuition is calling for you to do is so far out the park that you're like, oh, I could never do that. No, 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 no. Um, but it's actually necessary for you because it is part of your journey, okay? So let's just have a look a bit more into listen to your intuition. We have the queen of materials. I <laughs> love this. I feel like this is your intuition going, mm-hmm, hello. <laughs> look at this. 100% I feel like that, honestly, it's about all I'm getting from this listen <laughs> and with her big earrings here on her ears it's like listen right <laughs> i love it i love it okay cancer what else have we got here the hermit ah yes see going within actually understanding that this internal guidance system that you have is powerful man powerful and you it's like you can see it in everyone else and everywhere around you but yourself. You don't give yourself quite enough credit here, Cancer. So, yeah, it's time to really... I want to say it's time to put yourself on the pedestal, which feels very uncomfortable for you. But it actually is time for you to do that, okay? The next card that has jumped out here is Explore Your Ancestry, okay? And 
part of this I feel like is turning back the clock a little bit and looking at that. Um, seeing really where you've come from. And I just wonder if exploring your ancestry ancestry will show you how maybe people in your family actually were very intuitive in fact especially way back in the day like there was a time where intuition was the only thing that people really allowed to guide them you know when you're you, when you're in the woods right or walking around say you know in the in the forest at night for example you have to use that internal guidance system to lead the way your thoughts and your emotions are going to play tricks on you so your intuition is key for that okay um so i feel like yeah i feel like for some of you this is quite necessary the other thing i'm getting from this card as well is i feel like there are some things that you're doing because it's simply what has been done all along and now that doesn't really work for you so i feel like there's sort of a little bit of a recreation needed okay so let's have a look tell me more about explore your ancestry for cancer please tell me more about this cancer explore your ancestry that's too many cards we want two cards please for explore your ancestry for cancer two cards two cards you might need to do a bit of digging on this cancer yep here we go first card up is two of materials it's pretty interesting actually because we've got this one on one foot here okay and what I find also interesting is on this foot here is a ballet shoe and on this foot here there is no ballet shoe but there's still the ribbon of um of the ballet shoe so I just wonder if for some of you you've been walking in someone else's shoes which is done you know throughout the family type of thing and you've um it's time to kick those shoes off and walk your own path. Okay, we have the two of materials here and again on this one foot. So it's kind of finding your balance, finding a balance in your life, right, um, to what works for you. Okay, because now this person has shoes on that you might do hip hop in. So it's dancing a whole nother dance. Okay, so one more card. Too many cards. One more card for Explore Your Ancestry for Cancer, please. One more card. One. Nope. One more card. Here we go. Okay, the Knight of Emotions. <sighs> there could be someone in your life that holds the key to this. It could even be someone who's younger than you, um, who is actually has quite a gift and is able to tap in. It could be actually um, maybe a younger child of yours, okay, who can come and help you do this. They may have the skills even to do any online searches to look into this ancestry, okay, because I feel like this will take you both on a different timeline together, yeah? Okay, so listen to your guardian angel. I love this. See, this is about you tapping in again and listening to your guardian angel. Um, this is why it's important for you to tap into this intuition because your guardian angel is trying to speak through your heart, okay? And this is connected with your intuition. So I feel like once you are able to make that connection, things are going to become a lot clearer for you. And when you are exploring your ancestry, this is also going to be very important for you to um, listen to your intuition, okay? Um, because it's going to lead you in a direction and your guardian angel is also going to help with that as well. Okay, we have 
the seven of emotions see there's lots of options here for you um, and there may be many different paths for you to go down with that exploration okay um, but what I feel is though is that that is going to help there's something here there's something here because the two of materials and the we've got the ten of materials here so we've got this this is you planting a seed. This is you planting a seed to grow, okay? To grow into this massive rose bush, all right? It's sort of like this person here is standing here with these two roses going, I'm not quite sure what to do with these roses, but I know I'm required to do something with them. And it's actually planting the seeds to grow the whole bush because it's sort of like, where would I get more of these from? And it's not about where they would come from. It's about planting the seed to grow the bush type of thing okay so what else have we got here break addiction okay so anything that is holding you back any addictions um and this could even be getting away of in the way of any intuition that you know from you tapping into that intuition cancer okay um and and it doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol it could be an addiction to social media it could be an addiction to um, I don't even know, you need it, shopping, you know, in, in, too much of anything can be seen as an addiction, okay, so just be aware of that, everything in moderation here, okay, so let's have a look, we've got the page of voices pop up here, so this is you putting on the glasses so that you can see clearly, because it could very well be that for some of you, you've been partying maybe a little bit too hard, okay and it's become addictive um because it takes you you know often addictions are the uh are um hiding something that we need to look at and need to explore okay so this is very important for you to put the glasses on and start to see things clearly and be honest with yourself cancer be honest with yourself okay you don't have to tell the entire world what's going on for you just be honest with yourself and truthful. And, and when you're doing that, it's not about um, trying to find an excuse so that you can continue doing what it is you do. Um, it's about really coming home to the truth. Because deep down you know that. And you'll know when you're trying to cover something up and make it out like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But, you know, I'm listening to it and I'm doing this and I'm doing the work. You know, I have, I have six days a week where I'm not out partying, so it's fine. But it's sort of the extremity of the partying that may be what the issue with is. So, so then the next six days you're recovering or you're focusing and planning what the next party is going to be. And it's taking you away from the things that you need to focus on. So be aware of that, okay? And it doesn't mean that it's partying, okay? It, it means that it's anything in your life, okay, that is distracting you from what it is that you need to focus on here. All right, so one more card. There's two cards. I only want one more card for break addiction for cancer, please. Break addiction for cancer. One more. Thank you. Okay, so we have the hanged muse. Yep, taking time out. Taking time out to see things from another perspective. Okay, because, yeah. Yep, so you can really get this vision super, super clear here, Cancer, because I really feel like once you do this, your life is going to take a whole nother direction in such an amazing way. It's actually going to blow your mind, I feel. Okay, so I, yeah, I, I reckon it's time, Cancer, and I think you know this. I really, really think you know this. I feel like also with this hanged muse, it's going to allow you to tap into the third eye, which is going to help connect this intuition, okay? Um, so this focusing and working with your intuition may even help with this addiction, okay? So I would definitely be, yeah, looking at that for sure. Okay, so we have a love your body. Ah, okay, so is this addiction to take you away from what it is that you don't like about yourself, okay? Um, I feel like here, Cancer, it's 
it's sort of like there's things about yourself that you're trying so hard to change. And, and don't get me wrong, change is fine, but it depends on the reason that you're doing it. It could be that some of you are actually addicted to, say, the gym or exercise or, um, you know, something along those lines. And it could be that you're overdoing it, okay, because this your body, you don't like it and you want to change it, okay. I want to say um, for you that the um, society has created a picture of what we should look like. Okay, and um, the fact of the matter is that how we are is actually okay. All right, there's been, I just feel like we've been messed with so much um, by this image that has been betrayed. Not only that, but the food that we eat, a lot of it is not healthy. You know, there are things that have sort of messed up the blueprint of who we truly are. So it's it's a matter of looking at those things that listening, you know, this could also be this intuition of you tuning into what foods do my body, does my body crave? What liquids does my body, body crave? Because, you know, if it's not craving water, then something's gone off track. Okay, so this is very important for you to, we've got justice here, but I feel like this is about you bringing things into balance, okay? This is doing yourself justice. This is honoring yourself, okay? This is incredibly important for you to, to accept the truth of who you are, okay? Honestly, I just can't tell you even this is just so important. I, I don't have the words to express that answer. I really don't. But I feel like once you are able to do that, and, and it's just, you know, it takes work. It really takes work. Um, we've got the three of voices here. Look at this. It's sort of like cancer. Sometimes you step out into the world and you're one person and behind closed doors, you're sitting behind that door and you're bawling your eyes out. No one else knows. This is the stuff you don't want to show anyone else. This is your true vulnerability. This is your heartbreak. This could even be this, this self-sabotaging talk that you do to yourself. You could be the nastiest person in the world to yourself. And yet the most nicest person in the world to everybody else. So what makes you any different, Cancer? Why don't you deserve that treatment? Why can't you give that to yourself? You know, it really is getting to a place where you no longer need to do that to yourself. And okay, if you can't do that with your body right now, that's okay. If, look for one little thing about your body that you like. And it could be that, okay, well, I like my eyes because they can see. Or I like my ears because they can hear. I like my lungs because they can breathe. You know, it could be, I like my fingernail. You know, it could be any little thing like that. Start with something and focus on that. Focus on the things that you do like. Don't force it. Don't pretend because that's not authentic. Okay? Okay. Because cancer, you're not going to believe it unless it's real. No point telling yourself you don't believe. Uh, something that didn't come out right. No point telling yourself something you don't believe, right? Um, being honest with yourself about the fact that you do sit behind closed doors and bore your eyes out because you don't feel good enough. Because your life isn't the way that you would like it to be. Even though it could very well be cancer that you're portraying something different to the rest of the world, you know? You, you want this 10. You want this 10 of materials. You want this amazing connection in your life. You want to grow this garden of roses. And, and when no one's watching, it's not... You could have this beautiful garden. And everyone could come in and say, oh my gosh... You're so lucky. Look at this garden. Look at this you have. But then when no one's around, 
things are not as they appear. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I want to really give you a big hug right now, Cancer. I really do. Okay, so we've got... No, actually, I want to shuffle these. Sorry. Because I had a couple of cards come out before, but I was like, no, I'm not here taking two. We're doing one at a time. Okay, so let me just shuffle these one more time. Anything going to jump out? Nope. We're doing... The next shuffle is the top card, if it doesn't jump out. Okay, cancer. Okay, here we go. Step into the unknown. This is very scary for you, isn't it, cancer? Step into the unknown. I, I noticed how here this person's body is all wrapped up as though sort of in bandages to me and um but they've tried to sort of make it into a bit of an outfit <laughs> you know um so it's not so obvious that this is bandages but these are all the wounds you're trying to cover up wounds there are wounds that you release maybe in the darkness when the doors are shut but you feel so vulnerable as well you actually feel incredibly exposed And it's sort of like, can you see, just trying to feel your way through life and hope for the best instead of actually consciously living your life and consciously creating your reality. You're hoping for the best and um, how unnerving. That's really, really scary, you know. Um, The interesting thing about this too is I feel like you want to step into another world but it's really not clear to you how to do that because we've got this world here that I see you in all bandaged up. Um, about that I do want to say too that the healing work needs to be done. Okay, There's, these bandages are only going to serve a purpose for so long but the wounds are going to remain. So if you ever get triggered it's because there's an unhealed wound there that has been touched, okay? And it's still raw. So anyhow, moving on from that, I feel like you want to step into this world here. But can you see here this line? It's not really clear. The doorway isn't there, okay? The doorway's right down here. The person is reaching for this key. So you've got your hand in this other world. You've got the key there. But there's still not a clear path into this other world. And so, yeah, I feel like sort of maybe this healing is what that is. Maybe that is what is missing for that next step to happen to get into this other world, okay? Um, rather than sitting behind closed doors and crying on your own because... Yeah, you don't feel supported. You don't feel like anyone would understand. And um, and it's just, oh, it's some deep stuff, man. It's some really deep stuff. It's, yeah, well, you tell me more about Step Into The Unknown for cancer, please. This stuff here, cancer that you've buried for so long. <sighs> It may be rising up and you're not sure like why it is when you thought you had shoved it down well enough. And the queen of materials is jumping out at me again like, well, are we going to do this or what? You know, um, and yeah. I feel like also this could very well be getting in the way of this intuition and maybe this is what the addiction is about because the addiction is trying to cover up the things that you don't want to look at, okay, and um, this is about you stepping into the unknown of this journey of healing, okay, and it's scary, yeah, it is scary, and you do have to do the work, and it can be hard, but I tell you what, cancer, whatever you went through, doing the healing, believe me, and I speak from experience, doing the healing is easier than going through it, You've been through it. 
the healing is going to be easier. It's uncomfortable and it does take work, but you can do it. Okay, so just step into the unknown. Tell me two cards, two cards to tell me about step into the unknown for cancer, please. One, is that one? Yes, it is. Muse of Voices. See, with the Muse of Voices, this, the, I, I just feel like this is you speaking your truth to yourself. Like I said before, this is you speaking your truth to yourself. Okay, being honest, completely honest with yourself here. One more card to step into the unknown. And maybe this is the unknown. Maybe you've never really been honest with yourself. Yeah. And so this is what this is very unknown for you. Very uncomfortable. Okay. Wow. Three of inspiration. Wow. Okay. So we've got, look at this, this domino effect here, right? It's sort of like all this stuff had been perfectly built up. And it's kind of like you stepping into the unknown is going to have this domino effect or you are afraid it will, but it's going to mess everything up that you've had lined up for so long, so perfectly, and it's just going to ruin it all. But the thing is that the um, I feel like it was never quite you to begin with or it wasn't quite real to begin with in the first place, okay? Um Yeah, just let me have a look at this a bit further here. There's two paths here I'm seeing. Sort of like you've been following, the. it's like you've been following a path that is not yours. You've been walking a path that is not yours and stepping into the unknown. And this could very well be stepping out of what the family have done all these years, right? And into something completely di different, which is scary for you. And and it may, you know, just knock over a few dominoes. But hey, you need to do what's right for you. Okay, Cancer. So let's just get three cards for Cancer from the Shadow Healing deck here. I didn't like how that came out. I'm going to put that back. And if it was meant to come out, it will. Okay. Okay. Shadow Healing. Tell, give me three cards for Cancer, please, in relation to this reading. Three cards. Three cards for Cancer. One. One. Oh, 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 oh. Be mused. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, sweet. See, this reminds me, the Be Muse card, we've got Paralyzed and we've got Fraud. Okay, so we've got the Bemuse, Bemuse card here and it reminds me of this Domino's being knocked over it. And it says, this is one of those, I can't believe that just happened moments. Find the fun and stop shaking your head. No harm was intended. Okay, the next card, Paralyzed. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear, but standing still can be just as frightening. At least moving forward can create change. Love that. I love that. Yes. And when we're talking about breaking addiction and stuff like that, that is absolutely what is needed. Okay, moving forward, yeah. And then we have a fraud. Okay, being left with the deception that you once thought was truth can leave you feeling beaten. But you will emerge from this situation stronger than when you began. And this could very well be the truth that you tell yourself, Cancer. Yeah, when you put those glasses on and see things for how they truly are, okay, when you t take the time to see things from a different perspective, it may well, very well help you see things from another point of view, which may give you the truth. Because for such a long time, you may have been telling yourself another story that hasn't been true. 
because it fit the situation or it, it worked better for you. But now it's time, Cancer, for you to look at things from a different perspective and change that direction. Okay? Okay, Cancer, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.